Hello there, my name's Thomas. Along with my colleagues, I'm responsible for the new M drift analyzer at BMW M. Today we're here at the BMW test center in the northeast of Munich, and we'd like to show you the new M drift analyzer in the new M3 M4, here in the M4 behind me. The drift analyzer is a new function. As the name implies, it analyzes when you drive your car in one of the most exciting ways possible, in the form of controlled oversteer, or drifting. The drift analyzer detects when you drift and rates how you do. The aim of the function is that, with the aid of M traction control, you gradually get better at drifting from the first oversteer to holding a drift, and then more and more independently with controlling the throttle and steering, and thus expand your driving skills. We thought about it and came up with a function that evaluates your drift data, like drift length, drift duration and drift angle, and also, of course, what speed you are going and the friction coefficient of the road. Besides the evaluation of each drift, we also have a drift session, which you can activate and which will record all your drifts while you're drifting. This registers how much you've driven and what was driftable. In other words, when you took a bend and for how much of it you actually drifted. It then calculates a performance, depending on how much you were sideways. And the more sideways, the better. It also spots when you unintentionally understeer and lets you know. In addition, you can have another look at the data later on, on the M lap timer, and enjoy the cool drifts. Even if drifting is a lot of fun, please only use the new M drift analyzer away from public roads please make sure that conditions are suitable. Like here, for example, on a proving ground, where you can do a driver safety training course or on a racetrack. That's the best place to extend and develop your skills. Let's look at how to activate the system. There are two possibilities. One is pressing the DSC off button for three seconds. I'll show you. As you can see, DSC is switched off and you can now select M Drift Analyzer on the screen. One important point, you must confirm that you're not on public roads and that the surrounding conditions are suitable. OK, you can see that the M Drift Analyzer is active. The second way to activate the Drift Analyzer is under Car, M Menu, and here, besides the familiar M1 and M2 configurations, you can also start the drift analyzer. I'll press it. And then you have on the right-hand side an activate button, and I click here too, and also have to confirm that I'm not on public roads and that the surrounding conditions are suitable. Then we confirm that with OK. Now the drift analyzer is active. The drift analyzer will help you improve your drifting. That's a very emotional way to experience the M3 and M4, namely in controlled oversteer, and the analyzer will register when you drift and rate your drifting. There are two views, the single drift view, which you see here. This has a star evaluation system. The better you drift, the more stars you get, up to a maximum of five. To get a good evaluation, you need a high drift angle. That means the more sideways you are, the better. That you perform a really long drift, and that you're sideways for as long as possible during the drift. And of course, that you don't rely on the traction control too much for support. What also goes into the evaluation is the friction coefficient you're drifting on, the road surface. Whether you're drifting on a damp surface or snow, or on a dry road where it's a bit more challenging. Your speed is also registered by the drift analyzer. We'll start without traction control. That means all the vehicle control systems are switched off. Right, that's quite good what we've managed so far. We've already got four and a half stars on step zero. 
We were in the drift for 12.7 seconds, 292 meters long and had a drift angle of 24.6 degrees. Now let's have a look what happens when we use the traction control, how the drift analyzer reacts then. You can see that if you set the traction control to support you, for example here, step 10, then you only achieve a maximum of three stars. So I put my foot down, but as you can see, the car builds up so much traction and the traction control regulates it so well that despite full throttle, I can't lose the tail. We're now in step eight and I put my foot down. As you see, the car drifts only gently. I can counter steer almost in slow motion. So when I put my foot down, as you can see, I only have to make minimal corrections. With the traction control, you have more time to get used to the eye line and the counter steering and you don't lose the rear axle immediately and the car doesn't abruptly build up side slip angle. Now let's try step five. Here you can achieve four stars. So, full throttle. And we take the bend in the drift. Well, that wasn't bad. We got three stars with nine seconds, 222 meters and 18.6 degrees drift angle. Now let's try step three. And that worked pretty well too. We got four and a half stars, a new best drift, with 13.6 seconds, 322 meters, and 24.6 degrees drift angle. Besides the single drift view, with the M-Drift analyzer, you also have the possibility to start a drift session. When you start a drift session, as I'm doing here via start drift session, the vehicle registers when you're driving, and this is displayed as total distance. The vehicle also registers when you take a bend. This is your possible drift distance, and as soon as you drift, it will also be registered as distance drifted. In the drift session, your drift performance is assessed. The drift performance is calculated based on how much you go through the bend sideways. The system registers when you start a bend and also when you leave it. And in between, the motto is, as sideways as possible. Let's have a look what happens. We just choose a low step on the traction control. Two, for example. And then we just get going. You can already see total distance and possible drift distance accrue. And now let's start the drift. As you can see, we managed 510 meters and a performance of 94%. Let's start another drift session. Engage third gear and traction control is switched off. And let's see if the system also spots when we go a bit over the top and spin. So let's drive on a bit. Now let's drift around here a bit. And now we spin. I just give a little bit too much throttle here and we spin. As you see, performance goes back down to zero because the system also registers when you spin. I hope I've been able to explain the new M drift analyzer to you, also in combination with the M traction control. Here in the new M4, 
Drifting is brilliant, great fun, and I hope you have as much fun as we did with the features. See you. Ciao.